Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to disable or enable Steam input and then restart the game. So Steam users make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the controller tab. Now over here, uh, disable Steam input. Now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even enable Steam input and then check. Check which one is working fine for you. Try disable and enable both and then you have to relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to PlayStation controller user. Enable it in sound control panel. Now for this, uh, make a right click on the speaker icon at the bottom right. Then click on sound settings and then click on more sound settings. Now over here, now you have to make sure that you connect uh, you have to connect your controller using the usb cable so it has to be wired connection so let me connect the controller now now once you connect the controller you will see this dual sense wireless controller make a right click click on configure speaker if it is disabled like like if it is disabled you have to click on enable enable it and then you have to click on configure speaker quadraphonic next Put a check on front left and right and then surround speaker put a check on both the boxes click on next click on finish and then you have to relaunch the game and then you can check use wired connection so you can connect your controller your xbox controller or playstation controller using the usb cable to the computer and then you can launch the game uh, and the for playstation controller user i think uh, when you use the wired connection you will feel the vibration if the vibration is not working you can use the wired connection next step is to playstation controller user use ds4 windows you can install this application you can search in google install this configure your controller and then you can check next step is to update controller using playstation accessories app or xbox accessories app now for this if you have playstation controller um, First of all, if you have Xbox, you can go to Microsoft Store, type in Xbox Accessories app over here, and then click on Xbox Accessories app, and then you have to install it and then launch Xbox Accessories app. Now, once you launch it, uh, you have to connect your controller using the USB cable. Use the wired connection, and let me connect the controller now. Now, once you connect the controller, you will it will detect your controller. Now, click on three dots over here, and then you, if there is any update, you will see update option. So, hit update, and then let the update complete. Once the update is complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Similarly, for PlayStation uh, controller user, you can install this PlayStation Accessories app. Uh, you can search in Google, and then go to the PlayStation website, go to the official website, and then you can download. Uh, this download for windows and you can run this exe file and then you can launch playstation accessories app in my case uh, i already have playstation accessories app installed so launch it now once you launch it connect your controller now once you connect your controller uh, if there is any update you will see update option in my case it is already up to date so update your controller and then you can launch the game now still not working uh, the next step is to launch steam in big picture mode so at the on steam at the top right here you can see big picture mode icon so click on big picture mode enter big picture mode icon now once the steam is in big picture mode now you can launch the game from here and then you can check Still not working. Uh, the next step is to disconnect uh, additional USB adapter connected to the computer. So if you have like external devices which you are not using, disconnect it. USB adapter disconnect it. Unplug keyboard if you can. Disconnect additional controller. Sometimes we have extra controller. The dongle connected, disconnect it. Disconnect arcade stick. Discon disconnect hotas, wheel, pedals. Uh, if you have multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any kind of virtual controller, this is important. If you have Vijo, etc., you can disable it or uninstall it and then launch the game. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.